Okay, and welcome back. We're very honored to have with us one of the truly great people on the scene to try to help us understand the truth of the endless stream of BP, not only gas and oil and VOCs from the inner earth, so to speak, but the stream of lies, deceit, and deception that this company continues to throw the peons out here. Today it was exposed that BP was uh, caught photoshopping a picture of their so-called crisis command center. What BS? Let's just change the name of the company right now and be done with it. Chris Landau has made a video, a number of them. He's been on talk shows, he's been in print, he's, uh, his articles and columns appear on opednews.com. Uh, he is a, a true expert in the field. He's South African by birth. Uh, he was a well driller down there. He's worked in oil fields on wells uh, in the States here. He knows of which he speaks. And this thing, obviously, if you listen to the uh, YouTube video at rents.com and the oil box, I've held it up longer than any other because it's that good. Uh, I'll try and get the exact name for you so you can find it. I'll put Chris's name in, in front of it. Uh, it tells the story. I mean, he just lays it right out there. So let's go to uh, California and say hello to Chris Landau. Hi, Chris. Thanks so much for being here tonight. Thank you very much for having me on the show. Well, it's my pleasure. Uh, this company, uh, like Halliburton, like Brown and Root, okay, all the rest of them, uh, why is it that all these major international power brokers lie through their teeth and mock the normal public? They just laugh at us. They pull this crappy Photoshop thing off this morning. Uh, it's absurd. Now we've got video that I'm just uploading of one of the ROVs driving through clouds of gas and oil coming up out of the sea floor. So if you would, Chris, let's step back and, and kind of get an overview through your mind and your eyes and your expertise about where we are. But if you would, before we do that, give us a little bit of your background so our listeners know that you're more than qualified to speak to these issues. Well, um, I became a geologist a million years ago, 1980, and I did water well drilling for about five years and then did exploration for underground water using geophysics, using the Schlumberger method for geophysics. When I came to the United States in 2003, I um, worked on uh, oil and gas rigs for a year and a half, um, logging on about uh, 70 wells here, um, and on about 50 high-pressure um, oil and gas wells. Uh -huh. um, we did 50, about... 50 high-pressure high pressure oil and gas wells. All right, so this is right up your alley. Yeah. So we, we, we drilled around here in California down to about 2.5 miles, 10, 12,000 feet. Mm -hmm. And um, they were interesting in the sense of uh, we were using 17, 18-pound mud weight um, and it was high pressure. I worked on one where we had a bit of a blowout and um, on others where they destroyed the formation and they lost the drilling mud down the well. And I spent three weeks on that well. Luckily, there wasn't any oil and gas in it, so they just destroyed the formation and kept losing the drilling mud down the well, similar to what has happened on this well, but where they've destroyed or blown out the formation on this well, um, they... They did have oil and gas, and that right. kind of bit, bitten them in the butt as it's come up through the, yeah, road, through the, through the, you know, through. The, when you, when the Chris, butt. when you say destroyed the formation, we've got a well here over thirty thousand feet deep. How much of the formation has been destroyed? Uh, that's a tough question to ask because we really don't know without incredibly accurate seismic readings, which go down thirty thousand feet, but. To your knowledge and your best guesstimate, how much of the geology has been ruined uh, where this well bore has gone through? Well, um, 30,000 feet is not what they're saying, as you know. Uh, they're saying the well's 18,360 feet. BS. It's way beyond okay. that. Okay. Well, anyway, what has happened is when they drilled the formation, when they drilled to get the oil and gas, they would have gone through about 30 to 50 horizons of oil and gas on the way down to their final depth. And as they went down through these, they would have got various kicks of oil and gas at different depths, say at say 12,000, 13,000, 14,000, whatever. Right. And um, that 
those are the many horizons that people are not aware of that are also the poorest zones where the oil and gas is now being lost into those horizons. They overpressurized the drilling mud when they were drilling, so they made the drilling mud too dense for the well so that it went out into the formation. The specific gravity might have been, say, 2.8 grams per cubic centimeter for the drilling mud, and their formation might have only been, say, 2.4 grams per cubic centimeter. So the drilling mud went into the formation and and broke it up, broke up the, shattered it, and also overpressurized the, the pore space, so it crumbled. Now, when you've done that, you can no longer seal a well because you've destroyed it. You've made it too porous. It's a bit like a sieve or like a car tube tire, but a, a, a tube in a car tire that's got, say, about 50 holes in it, and you're trying to seal that. So the directional wells that they're drilling now to so-called seal the well won't work either. Right. So we've got a blown-out formation. We've got a, a ballooned-out well, which means it's been hollowed out by the um, by the drilling process and all the drilling mud during the process mm-hmm. while when they were drilling. Mm-hmm. And um, it's not going to seal ever. So they the, have the, to actually put in eight relief wells around the well to that's depressurize your solution. the solution. Yeah, that's your proposition. Put in eight yeah. relief wells to go into the shattered formation and start to extract the oil that is obviously still coming up and will continue to come up and fill yeah. in these, these shattered cavities. Now, yeah, my question... Uh, is that correct, what I just said? Yes, that's correct. Okay. The idea of relief wells, uh, one is a, is a backup, and one is supposed to do the job. They're yeah. down at 15,000 feet. Uh, yeah. They tried to get below, obviously, where most of the damage, the geological damage, in their estimation, occurred. That's what they're hoping to get to, a depth where the integrity of the well bore is still substantial enough where they can somehow pinch it off, kill it, or put a shaped micro nuke in there to allegedly fuse the geology. Now, what I'd That's like to... Work. N- yeah. Yes, okay, go ahead and tell us why. Well, once you've blown out a formation, you've now got a very porous zone. It's, it's, it's hugely porous, and you can no longer seal it. So when you pour in, you, you, you come in with your new... Um, uh, drill hole into this porous zone instantaneously as you intersect the new well all the drilling mud you've got in your existing pipe disappears into this porous zone and you're now left with a probable second blowout that right. will happen on right. your on your well that you're drilling to solve the problem because you cannot the, the drilling mud cannot be kept in an over porous zone it's like pumping it into a vacuum well, it's like Swiss, a big block of Swiss cheese. There are apparently holes yeah. and caverns and cavities it's everywhere. All lost. Instantaneously, it's just all lost. Yeah. Okay. Now, the idea of a relief well going down 15,000 feet, angling over, not 90 degrees, but certainly angling over to 60, 70 degrees, and right. intersecting a 22-inch in diameter casing with the well bore inside, it seems to me to be like an awful long shot, and if they do get right onto that pipe, they're going to apparently attempt to go inside of it to open it up. I, I Can you explain that to people, please, what their alleged plan is supposed to do and how it's going to work? Well, the plan's not going to work, so I can't explain it to anybody. Well, there <laughs> it you go. It doesn't even make any sense to me, so I, I, I can't even begin to explain it. You can wow. only work on a situation where you... You can only kill a well if you're keeping the oil and gas pressure out of the well. That means you've got a, 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 a well that you've drilled. It's got a good stability. It's got an integrity. Its structure is sound. And as you're pushing your drilling mud down, you can, you can keep the, dr- the gas and the oil out in the formation because you can create enough back pressure to push it out. Once you've destroyed that whole structure, you cannot bring in another hole into a destroyed structure and try and seal it. It doesn't work. So it's all, so again, BS. I, I can't explain yeah. it. Sorry, uh, you're going to have to explain it to me. Uh-huh. 